This is Morgan 67 welcoming you back with Dex Isidore Fisperensis. This is a, six, quite a pretty place. Maybe any tiny wee little town. Uh, you know, that's one of my constant criticisms. It doesn't really this. You know, Darwin's watch where I spent a lot of time. It's, you know, he's only a couple of houses Please there. Back. You'd expect it to be a place of thousands of people, tens of thousands, ten thousand maybe? A few thousand, five thousand, anyway. Certainly more than a thousand rather than a ten or whatever is actually there. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Um. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness, and this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. Step forward, friend of Lavu, and let us speak. You're Vivek. Interesting. Blue and golden. Okay, Vivek. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Cannon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? What kind of help do you need, Lord Vivek? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Good, Lord Vivek. I can provide a fresh perspective. Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. I don't think Archcanon Tarvis wants my help. Um. Ooh. Let me do this. When I first arrived, I saw a vision of Azura. The Daedric Prince. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura. No, she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain. Strange Daedra. And then there's... Well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Was what the ancestor said helpful? Levul's ancestor assured me that a source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guess ripen in the mind. And only speak when the fruit grows certain. I require more information on these matters. Hence the need for the divination ritual. I don't think Arch Cannon Tarvis wants my help. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my Arch Cannon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say, and I say we need your assistance. Find the Arch Cannon in his office, and he'll tell you how to proceed. Very well. Um, anything else to say? Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office and do as he commands. Help the Archcanon and you help me. Remember the words of my seventh sonnet. Time is neither ally nor enemy. It simply is. And then it has passed. Now, go before it passes you. Uh -huh. And where are we going to find him? Nice if I had his help. Well, what help would it be? Doesn't fight. Just cowers every time a bit of fighting comes around. Let's go find him. Is it true they summoned Balra to defeat the Daggerfall army at Darwin's Watch? That is indeed true. Now, the question is, is it inside or out on top? Oh, I see it through there. Ah, oh, just directing me to the door of Arch Cannon's office. Okay. Ooh! Well, 
this is what he might like. Oh, does it go to your private quarters? It's your bed. Hmm. Covered. Yes, why not? A mirror that I can't see through. A door to outside that's locked. A jewelry box. Thank you very much, Cannon. Nice of you to leave this stuff around for me. A cabinet. Oh, isn't that nice? Another cupboard. Poultry. Food. Okay. It's interesting, why is it all the red guard? Shouldn't it should be all done my style? Recipe. Oh, I don't know this one. Increase health recovery by f and stamina recovery for an hour. Imperial Stout. I like this. I'm going to learn that. I'm going to learn that straight away. There we go. Excellent. Yes. Red Mountain drinking song. It sleeps like a giant, our tower of stone. Red Mountain, Red Mountain, all rumbles and moans. It tosses and turns, pray it won't wake. And then without warning, the ground starts to shake. As the world ends, the ground starts to shake. And so, have to shaft, have to fast and say a prayer. Red Mountain's about to explode. Have a drink, but be aware it's doomed the mountain for boats. Lift a glass and curse the day. Red Mountain's about to burst. Drink all your cares away. Who wants to die with a thirst? Die with a thirst. Knock back a fairy flynn, admit the smoke and ash, drain the glass of whiskey, you'll be drunk in a flash. As guzzles said you mum to Gemma, admit the fire and fumes, dip back the jar of liquor, that in 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 aberration bloom. Inebration bloom. As the world ends, let inebration bloom. So have to flask and say a prayer and let the mountain's about to explode. Have a drink, but be aware it's doomed the mountain for both. Lift the glass and curse the day, red mountain's about to burst. Drink all your cares away. Who wants to die with a thirst? Die with a thirst. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Mo on moving, Ebenhardt. Hey. Members of the Shrenal Priest and House of Engineers. During a recent visit to the main landlord, Vivek became enthralled with the quaint and picturesque city of Ebenhardt and the Stone Forks on the northern coast of Morrowind. He spent an in or more amount of time within the confines. Go ahead, have a read. I don't think it's essential to the story. In Lord Vivek's name, Archcan and Tarvis. Move, build, move. What? Move, Evan Hart. Okay, I guess you will know it before I will. No, you won't, because I will get to review this before it goes online, and I'll actually go and read it then. Desk. Flint. Agonian. Why well, you got all sort of non local crafting materials? I'm moving Ebenhart. Oh, hang on. Oh. Do you mind if I check your bookshelf before I s speak to you? It might be something. Brave little scrib song. Oh, a dark elf children's song. Go ahead, people, have a read. This might be nice. Okay. Hello. Level 4. G-Pack. I wonder if these are new characters for his people have brought them on wind. Uh, ah, chapter. Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you. But who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work? Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? Lord Vivek said he needed to perform a divination ritual. Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. Good, I don't want you to say it twice. I'm listening. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the Blessing Stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. I'll go to the unfinished cigarette, get the place and sign, and meet you at Vivek's palace. 
You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch cannon of a living god or anything. Yep, so you got plenty of time. What's a blessing stone? Ah, oh, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. The blessing stones serve as repositories for small amounts of Lord Vivek's power. They allow his favor to permeate sanctified locations. We need such a stone to power the divination ritual. Can't Vivek perform the ritual without the blessing stone? If you haven't guessed yet, the phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek's power in unusual ways. It will be safer for everyone if I perform the ritual by using the Blessing Stone instead of drawing on my Lord's personal store of energy. What does Lord Vivek hope to learn from the divination ritual? Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Lord Vivek's senses eclipse those of mere mortals. Suffice it to say, he feels a disturbance in the flow of energy throughout Vardenfell. He seeks to discover the source of that disturbance. Vivek mentioned Red Mountain and Daedra. Do you think there's a connection? Lord Vivek sees signs and portents everywhere. It's the poet at his core. I tend to be much more pragmatic. Sometimes a volcano is simply a volcano and not a harbinger of doom. As for the Daedra, I have no idea. Perhaps a summoning got out of hand. Have I offended you in some manner? Offend me? You give yourself too much credit. No, I feel the same about all Outlanders. This is tribunal business, best handled by tribunal resources. However, I also obey my Lord Vivek. So I will tolerate your involvement and do my best to aid you. Good. Um, where are we going? Okay. Missed a step, didn't I? I hope watching me zigzag around isn't going to make you guys dizzy. Oh, there he is! Overseas sh Shiraz. Oh. Oh. This Woman. project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. You always carry a sword when you go to work? Well, I do. Archan and Dava sent me. I need to borrow your blessing stone. Our blessing stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our blessing stone? Well, neither do I, but I'm sure it won't put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to disagree with the Arch Cannon, but that's a terrible idea. Lord Vivek needs the blessing stone to perform a ritual. Lord Vivek? Why didn't you say so? You believe me? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the blessing stone. The passage that leads to the consecration chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. I'll clear the passion for you workers on my way to retrieve the stone. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be back in the consecration chamber before the next shift or we'll never get this ziggurat constructed in time. Will do! And I'll do that on the next episode, I think. Yes. So this is, um... Smile67 signing off with Dax Isidorf Hispanitis. Be well.